Fox 13's Haley Higgins is in Kaysville tonight, where lightning started the legacy fire this afternoon, which has burned 300 acres and forced evacuations. Haley, it has been a bit of a wild ride out there. Yeah, in fact, we were just talking to neighbors here in Kaysville, and they say, hey, they are just happy that the power is back on. You can see it behind me, but I want to show you where the flames are right now. You can see them off in the distance. Now, within the last couple hours, a second band of heavy rain and strong winds came in, and it pushed the fire south away from where we're at right now, closer to Farmington. That heavy rain also helped douse a lot of these flames. Now, the areas threatened now go down to Glover's Lane there in Farmington. Now this fire was sending smoke high into the sky for much of the afternoon, visible from across Davis County. It's big and obviously uh, once you get a little bit closer to it, you can see just how big it is. And uh, with resources still coming in, um, South Davis Metro Fire just showed up with two trucks. Um, it's obviously, you know, a, a big deal. But that second band of rain really did help this fire. Now, the smoke did cause a lot of problems for firefighters. Visibility was so low they couldn't see in a lot of these neighborhoods. Firefighters from across Weber and Davis counties are here. Now, we're hearing from Kaysville Fire that while that we aren't while there were some evacuations right now, for the most part, people are just urged if you're near the fire, if you're near where the flames are right now, just be prepared uh, to leave at a moment's notice. But for right now, though, that rain really did help the situation. Reporting live in Kaysville, Haley Higgins, Fox 13 News, Utah.